Hey guys and welcome! Today, the last week of Season 2 has started in Battlefield 2042 and we got the last set of weekly missions to collect some more points for the Battle Pass or for the Season's Player Card Badge. The missions are very focused on general tasks again, like revives, kills and ribbons earned, and less specific than the last ones. So in the first section you need to do 15 kills or assists, earn 2 logistics ribbons and revive 5 teammates. And here I can always recommend to use Falk with an ammo crate to complete these missions fast and easy, cause with her you will be able to revive everyone and not only your squad mates, and you can heal and resupply your mates, cause that's what you need to do for the logistics ribbons. If you do this, the first section should be completed in no time. Then, for the second section, you need to inflict 1500 damage with vehicles, do 8 kills in one round and spot 30 enemies. The 8 kills in one round should be self-explaining and doable for everyone, especially in Conquest or Breakthrough. And for the spottings, I would recommend to use either Casper's drone around an objective or Rao or Pike, cause with them enemies get automatically spotted when you receive damage as Rao or when you deal damage to them as Pike, so it's basically done on the side. In addition, you can also actively spot opponents with their abilities. For the damage inflicted with vehicles, I would recommend to play the newly added Flashback Conquest over in Portal, cause here's the map Battle of the Bulge available and that's basically a vehicle map. So you will have easier access to vehicles and there will be a lot of damage to deal for you. One round on this map should be enough to complete this mission. It can be a bit one-sided sometimes and enemies might even push you back to your spawn, but just focus on the mission here and not on winning the match. In addition, this map can be really helpful if you want to level up Liz and her missile launcher. Then, in the third section, you have to capture or neutralize 10 objectives and do 30 kills or revives. And for this capture mission and also most other missions, I can highly recommend Flashback Conquest as well. The kills and revives is the same as in the first section, so if you want to complete it fast, choose one of the support specialists to be able to revive everyone. And for the bonus mission, you need to earn 9 combat, logistics and objective ribbons. And for the combat ribbons, you have to do kills or destroy vehicles. For the logistics ribbons, it's resupplies, heals and repairs. And for the objective ribbons, you need to capture, hold or defend objectives. So nothing unusual and basically ribbons you will earn anyhow while playing. In All Out War, Master of Arms Conquest has returned, which is the 128 player mode on the maps Stranded, Renewal and Orbital, and instead Exodus Conquest was removed. I would also not expect Exodus Conquest to return in the next two weeks, cause next week we will surely get a playlist for the new map Sparehead. Then in Breakthrough we don't have any special playlist this week and Flashback Breakthrough was removed as well, unfortunately, but over at Rush there was a Master of Arms playlist added as well. So the same three maps that I mentioned before, but in the 32 player mode Rush. In Portal there is the safe haven for all lovers of Exodus Conquest now, cause over here you can find Flashback Conquest for the next few days, and that's also a 64 player mode only on the four classic maps of Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. In addition we also got TDM of Ages and that's a normal 32 player team deathmatch, but played on the old era's maps and with their respective weapons and gadgets. So if you're looking for a way to unlock missing Portal weapons or the recently added player cards, you might want to give this mode a try. In the item store there was a new bundle added this week and this one is called Forsaken Sands and comes with specialist skins for Sundance and Casper, a vehicle skin for the Apache helicopter, a weapon skin for the GVT and a new player card tag, and in addition there is a 30% discount on the two bundles Savage Skies and Tech Exploit, so if you wanted to own them for a while maybe now is the time to get them. Plus, the Chupacabra weapon charm and the blast proof headgear are for free and can be claimed by everyone. The headgear was available before already and has just returned, so most of you might already have it in their collection, but the weapon charm is new. Claim it within the next 6 days and it's yours to keep. And that's it for today. The usual overview of the weekly missions and everything else that is new in Battlefield 2042 today and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.